Hi there, so today we're going to have a look at how we export a still image, a JPEG, a PNG file or a TIFF from Final Cut Pro 10. So the first thing uh, we need to do is actually set up Final Cut Pro 10 so it can export out a still image from your sequence. Okay, So we're working on an edit here where we have a still image here that we want to bring into Photoshop to work on. But this is also useful if, for instance, you want to take a still image out that you're going to upload as your thumbnail for a YouTube video. So the first thing we need to do is come across to this little arrow, the export or share arrow on the right hand side here. Okay, And basically this lists all the different share destinations that we have in Final Cut Pro. And by default you won't see a share still image or export image option there. So we need to scroll down to this add destination option and then once we're in here you can see we've got a series of additional options that we can add in um, to our list of current destinations across here on the left hand side menu. Okay so the option we want to add is save current frame so we'll just click on that and drag it across into our list. Okay so now we have the save current frame and here we want to set it up so we save it as a TIFF file, a PNG file, a Photoshop file or a JPEG etc. So we're going to save it out as a PNG file, okay? That will keep a, a pretty good compression and image quality for our image. So, and also we're going to have it scale the image to preserve the aspect ratio. Okay, so once we've got that turned on, there's nothing else to do here. We can close that, and now when we go to our share menu here, you can see we have the save current frame option, okay? We click that, and we can come to settings where we can change the image type here as well but the default being PNG okay and then we can click next okay and then we can rename our image and export it out click save and we're done so our image is ready now to bring into Photoshop to upload to YouTube and we'll use another image editing application that you choose Okay, I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to give me a shout at Ben Hustle on Twitter. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.